Alright, before you guys quote me on anything that I said about Modern Warfare 3, let me just say why I have a gameplay of it, alright? Just, just hear me out, alright? Today I want to talk about what we missed from Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 2, which I would wish that they threw back in into Ghosts. Now, yes, I did not really enjoy the multiplayer of Modern Warfare 3 too much. You know, that... That is something that I've been quoted for in the past, is saying that I hated Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. But, there were some upsides to it. And I just want to point out those upsides. That way, you guys can't yell at me saying, You don't know what you're, you're talking about. There were good ideas in there. I never said that there wasn't. So let me start. First off, I love the killstreaks in this game. R why? Because you have three different types. You have your support kill streaks, which are like your score streaks in Black Ops 2. You have your normal kill streaks, and then you have your specialist kill streaks that lets you get more perks throughout the game. Personally, I thought that was a really cool idea to add into the game. It it was new, it was creative, and it really fit my playstyle when I was playing with either support or um Specialist. I didn't really play with the assault package too much, but it really fit how I played the game because the support category, yeah, they screwed it up a little bit, um, and I'll explain why. Mainly because I felt like the support ca category should have had uh, better kill streaks in there. Um, it seemed like some of the kill streaks that were in there were, oh, I don't know, a little weak. I mean. And some of them were repeated too. I mean, the UAV for both assault and support didn't really make sense to me. It should have been one or the other. But hey, I'm not a game designer, so I don't know. But with that being said, I did like the support kill streaks in this game. I thought they could have been done a little better though. Um, instead of giving us a remote sentry gun where we actually have to control it ourselves, maybe just give us the normal sentry gun. I mean, I don't see why a assault class would need that. It just doesn't make that much sense to me. I love the ballistic vest. Now you see that I threw some down already, and this was one kill streak that I wish they would have brought back because it's pretty much a weak version of Juggernaut, and maybe that's why people hated it <laughs> um, because it was like Juggernaut. But they could have countered that. You know, some people would have um, I forget what flak jacket in this game is called. Blast Shield or something like that. They could have taken out Blast Shield, mixed that in with these Ballistic Vests, and could have made it a little better. I, I will admit to that. And you see that I keep on running back for these Ballistic Vests because I love them so much. Another thing that they did get right is their all or nothing game mode, where you had to knife to get bullets and then you had to throw tomahawks and stuff. I thought that that was a really cool idea. You know, it... Some people hated it. Personally, I liked it. Mainly because it's fun, it's different, it's like one in the chamber, but it's not one in the chamber. It doesn't feel like an exact copy of a different game mode. Uh, it felt brand new. It felt like it wasn't done before, and I don't think it was done before. So that's why I like that. Now, this was the game that introduced gun levels, and at first I was like... I just wish I had my COD points back. And I kind of still do wish I had my COD points back. But that's that's for a different commentary. But I thought that it was very, very well put together how they made the gun levels in this game and transferred that into Black Ops 2. That was something that I thought that if Black Ops 2 didn't have that and it, if it didn't have the COD point system... It, it would just feel like an older game and people would not get interested in it. But since they did have this in there, you know, it made the game a lot better. And also, too, they made it so in Black Ops 2 you can prestige your gun levels, which I thought was a great idea to add on to this already good idea. The one thing that, you know, people don't understand is 
with Call of Duty, it, it does stay the same a lot. It does. I will admit to that. It's like getting a car painted every year. Is it necessary? No. Will it make it look better and feel brand new? Yeah, it will. But here's the thing. With Call of Duty, they advance everything to the next step when they're making these. And that's why I like. I like how they took the idea of the gun levels and made it so much more in Black Ops 2. I love how they took their kill streaks and brought them up to the next level in Modern Warfare 3. Sure, they brought back the death streaks, which personally I don't like. I mean, they they threw in what was it? Dead Man's Hand, where it was pretty much the javelin glitch from Modern Warfare 2, but now it's a death streak. I mean, come on, Infinity Ward. But hey, whatever, you know. Yeah. That's their idea. Now, back to what I want them to do for Ghosts. I want them to bring back some brand new, fun party game modes. Like they did in here. Infected, I didn't play it that much, but I heard that it was fun. I, I didn't really get into it that much, but I heard that that was fun. I loved All or Nothing. I thought it was stupid when they took out um, the gun game versions for that money in the dank, I think that was kind of stupid of them. They should have just kept it. I love their idea of face-off, because there are so many small maps in this game that I wish were in face-off, and there's so many maps just in Call of Duty in general that I wish that were in face-off. So bring back face-off. That was really cool. Of course, there's going to be people saying, well, the 1v1, you can do the, the boosting, and it doesn't matter. Let them boost. If they're 1v1-ing each other, I don't care. But, I mean, this is what I wanted to point out. You know, bring back the gun levels, bring back the kill streaks, bring back the cool game modes. That's what I want you to do, Infinity Ward, if you're watching. So, I have been 5150 Nighthawk 02. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Welcome back, I guess, Modern Warfare 3. And stay for